you here to Ridgeway Christian Village. And on behalf of the Van Leer family, uh, we appreciate you being here to uh, bring uh, encouragement and support in a time of celebration of Peter's life today. Peter Van Leer was a, a special man. Um, we are all here really because in some way he's touched each one of us and actually made us better people, I think. And I've always appreciated my relationship with Peter. In my short time of knowing him, um, I was all, all, often struck by his kind words, his contagious smile, and his undeniable spirit. He always had an encouraging word for me as the chaplain here, and, and we would often walk down these hallways together. Sometimes um, I'd even hold his hand or have my arm around him, and he would, we would kind of share the blessings of God together. Peter was a, a man of God's own heart, and I feel privileged to have known him at this particular time in his life. There's something very precious and sacred about older age, old age. While I often wish I would have known him when he was younger and vibrant, I realize that God gave me a gift in joining him in his journey for the final days of his life. And so today we will celebrate his life, we'll sing together, and we'll hear stories, and uh, we'll hear God's word read, and uh, we will have a time of remembering a servant of God, a man of God who deserves to be recognized for his labors in the Lord. And so today we begin as um, he would want in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for the life and the ministry of Peter Van Lirup. We praise you for creating this wonderful person and giving to him his many gifts. We are thankful for his dear wife, Eleanor, and the precious partnership that they've shared together all these years. In this beautiful family who are his legacy of love and joy. We pray that this memorial service will not just honor Peter, but more importantly, honor you. We lift up our eyes, Lord, to the heavens where our strength comes from. Be our refuge in our time of grief. Fill our hearts with joy everlasting. We do not grieve as those who have no hope, but as those who believe in the resurrection and the life of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And because he lives, we too shall live. And so God, be with us now in this time of celebration and remembrance, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This time we're going to be singing Blessed Assurance. The words are in your programs.
now from the scriptures. One of my father's favorite passages is from the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and this understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even the youth grow tired and weary, and young people stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Rejoice in the Lord always, and I will say rejoice. 
Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. And keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. And the God of peace will be with you. Thank you for these words in scripture. And may they be a blessing to all of us as we remember uh, Peter Bender. Is thy faithfulness was our is our family song and it was one of my father's favorites so we decided to sing it and Cheryl's going to sign it.
Yes, praise the Lord. 